Now, real quick, just be quiet for one second. Let me get past this flavor play thing because I don't want you to think I'm being hypocritical up here. Are you following me? How many people have actually seen Flavor of Love and Strange Love and all this madness? Now you know Professor Griff don't approve of Flavor Flav picking electronic cotton in 2009, right or wrong? You know how I feel about that. But the open enemy wants to destroy the strong image of public enemy because we was connected to the Black Panther Party. We was connected to the nation of Islam. Are you following me? It was them that said, it was uh, VH1 that said, the nation, it takes a nation made to hold us back. They said it was the best rap album ever made. Are you following me? Not Griff. I didn't say it. No, that's not flavor. That's Samuel Jackson. That's flavor. <laughs> but you see what happens? When you do just the opposite of what we were taught by the messenger, how it influences people? <laughs> because light begets light, right or wrong? Let's push forward. What did the messenger teach us that the last trick that the cracker would use? He would give us his woman, am I right or wrong? And I see it everywhere I go. I'm not talking from a bumper sticker perspective. I didn't read this on no damn t-shirt. I lived this, are you following me? Imagine this dude coming out of a baby crib. Let me just say this real quick. The image, when this image goes out throughout the world to the people that can't speak English, how do you think they're processing this? Are you following me? So yes, there was the niggerization of hip-hop music. Because America loves hip-hop but hate black people. Are you following me? Now you remember Strange Love, right or wrong? I need to say this real quick so I can get this out the way and push on. Inside of Strange Love, she had a nickname for Flavor. She called him Foofy Foofy. And he called her Gidi or Gita, right or wrong? Okay. So I tried to figure out this madness because I definitely didn't approve of this. I'm sure you didn't, right or wrong? So I started studying. I said to myself, how can I understand this flavor thing, flavor flavor thing from an esoteric point of view? So I looked in the dictionary of ancient deities given to me by Jason Orr. Inside of the book, I looked up the word Gita, which is what he calls the white woman. It says, um, Gidi, which is Haitian, god of the dead. Gita is likely of African origin. He is associated with Baron Samidai. Children are protected by him. Gita has healing powers. He is shown as a black man wearing a black coat, top hat, dark glasses. He carries a cane and is usually shown with a cig cigar or cigarette. His sign is a square cross on a low tomb. So I started doing my research and I looked in the Source magazine and it said the resurrection of the Jester King talking about Flavor Flav. So I looked deeper and it says in Haiti, those possessed by the voodoo god of the dead Gita make jokes, dresses in a top hat and dark glasses and are known for their ki 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 laughter. Tell me that's not Flavor Flav. <laughs> That deity and the spirit of that deity is trapped inside of flavor, but he can't hear it. Screwing too many white women, smoking too, many, too much weed, drinking too much. Interrupting the God frequency, are you following me? See, because the ancestors are speaking to us from within us, are you following me? It's just that you ain't listening. We have to understand this particular dynamic. Only if flavor knew that. Y'all know Flavor Story. What I don't understand is why is he on national TV with the energy of Gidi inside of him, God of the dead, wearing pink. This is why I love when KRS-One says, I am hip-hop. I am a higher infinite power healing our people. Are you following me? I am a higher infinite power healing our, peop our people. I am. Only thing I can't understand is why this dude says he's hip hop. <laughs> Lil Wayne. I call him Lil Wendy. Are you following me? So we have to understand this particular thing. Can I ask you a question? I'm just breaking from the script. Who's going to protect our culture, be it hip hop or anything else? Where are the people that are benefiting from the culture that's become millionaires? will allow anyone to come in to hip-hop and just run the house the way they want to run it. 
Can I give you an example? Let's just say this is the house of hip hop. All right. Matter of fact, let's just get more personal than that. Let's just say your own personal homes, whether you live in an apartment or a house. When you invite people over, can y'all talk to me for a minute? When you invite people over, don't you relegate them to like one or two rooms? Yeah. Yeah. Sit your ass in the living room <laughs> or you can go to the bathroom. That's it. Am I right or wrong? You don't let people walk off through your damn house. We invited these people in. They in the drawers, in the master bedroom and are you following me? And children are running the house. We come back to the house, things are all out of order. One of the main things that's out of order is how we respect women. And as Sister Ra will tell you, because I got it from her, if we would just take the woman and put her back on the throne where she belongs in hip hop, it'll check all the other madness. Because we're out of balance because the woman is not, the woman is not in her proper role in hip hop. Are you following me? Sister's not really agreeing, but we're going to work on that. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. You're out of sync because you're not in your role. And every time we see you, you're doing something very masculine. No, play, stay in your role. Let me stay in my role and the roles complement one another. Are you following me? But you real hard. You on stage grabbing your crust like, yeah, nigga, what's up? And I'm like, no, you don't need to be that hard. Are you following me?